very logically translated into their own personal situation. So the judgment they give is based on their own personal situation, which is not necessarily valid for their next door neighbor. So you should, uh, uh, so there's many aspects of, of communication. Full transparency and full involvement is a theoretical, uh, is a, is a theoretical. Okay, so let's. Uh, oh, and yeah. we are very, very triggered by the first. That should never be put in North Sea context. Financial support official. We are debt against debt against subsidies. The liberals. <laughs> debt against subsidies. Yeah. Direct subsidies. We we don't mind compensation, but we don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no but, uh, if we if you take away the subsidies, it's okay, but we want compensation. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, but it, you, you're dealing with different uh, yeah, yeah. different realities in a way, and, yeah. and in, in a way, it's also interesting. Maybe later when we do sort of the analysis of all the five regions, that one region like your region could be of help to the Black Sea to actually help them to you know get going. Uh, so I think it, it, it could be an interesting way of uh, then cooperating. Sorry. Yeah, um, I'd like to turn a little back to this uh, oversimplification, which you stated you should never oversimplify, which was kind of the opposite that you told me the first time we met, but uh, <laughs> that's a long time ago. Um, but oversimplification is actually related to what is the question you want answered on, and, and you, you, you should relate it to some kind of decision. So the, the, the amount of information needed to make a decision, that is, is, is where you define what is oversimplification, over, oversimplification or not. So, so, so please make it so that. But I, I think I have a very important statement to make here that with this simplification, because sometimes you should do and sometimes you shouldn't, that's, that's great. And I think I, I'll back up what, what Carmen said about the details. I think if you want to find the details of the ICT advice, it's certainly there in abundance. And then that, that's fine. But I think you have to also appreciate that there's a difference between the scientific assessment of a stock, which is done state of the art, and it's, there's a very low level of political influence here. There, there are people whose minds are political as well. Some are more green than others. Some are more lost uh, than others. Uh, so there's, there's a political dimension, not a national political, but a personal political dimension of assessment. But alas, it's done by humans. That cannot be avoided and shouldn't be avoided. But that's a scientific standard. But the advice is not scientific. The advice is based mainly on management plans. So, so there's a scientific assessment yeah. and there's a political advice. But I thought the advice was based on the... Uh, that's still with it's, the done, it's based on the scientific advice, but the, on the scientific assessment. But the advice, how to, how to exploit the fish stocks, that's within a request from member states or the commission. Oh, so the commission asks for the advice according to plan. And they say, they tell ISIS, tell us the best way to fish, in it. <coughs> simply oversimplify, tell us how to fish if we want to achieve that. So that's a political choice of what you want to achieve by fishing. It's not a scientific, but it's a scientific answer <coughs> to a political question, yeah, the advice. Whereas the assessment is a pure scientific answer. Okay, so I think there's a comment for sure from Karen. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> I agree, the assessment is the assessment, and that's kind of science and essentially yeah. nothing else. Uh, in terms of the advice <coughs> for the different stocks, uh, what happens is that, of course, there are international agreements which are essentially exploit the stocks at FMSY. And I know that some people here are not clear what FMSY is, but nevertheless, um, by 2015, uh, and so in principle, ICE's advice uh, will be according to that. That's what we are using in all of the North Atlantic, as in most of the world. But in addition to that, uh, for many of the stocks, the main ones, and essentially most of the ones we discussed here, except for well, the choke species, not but most of the others, uh, they have specific long-term management plans, which means that there are a set of rules for how you're going to exploit the stock, not only next year, but actually long-term, with a longer-term view. And those plans are um, 
usually uh, put forward by often the European Commission, Norway as well. <coughs> um, very often with, um, well, influence or with comments, uh, you know, with participation from stakeholders, I think increasingly more so. Uh, but then uh, normally ISIS or sometimes another organization, STCF, but usually ISIS is requested to evaluate whether the plan would be considered uh, precautionary, so in accordance with the precautionary approach, and also increasingly more whether this would uh, yield sustainable long <coughs> yields, whether it would be consistent with the maximum uh, sustainable yield uh, concept as well. So if ISIS or some other organizations that uh, we consider reputable, say, uh, has evaluated the plan and consider it to be in accordance with these principles, then ISIS will give the advice in accordance to that plan. But only if, if it has been evaluated to be at least precautionary and increasingly more as well in consistency with the maximum sustainable yield principle. But otherwise you give advice according to precautionary approach or no, other otherwise politically agreed things. Exactly, advice, indeed. indeed. Sure, I mean it's a societal yeah. choice. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm not saying it's wrong, that's no, just no, 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 of course. it's not scientific. I'm all for politics. <laughs> you seem to be good at that. <laughs> uh, Okay, uh, let me move on. Um, what's coming up now is I'm going to give you uh, questionnaires, or question a questionnaire. Can we have a coffee? You have a coffee? Co coffee, okay. Uh, okay, let, let, let me uh, say it and then we can have a coffee break. Uh, the reason, just to tell you, the reason for the questionnaire is simply to um, get your feedback on paper. Uh, what you think about how things are going in terms of it's mainly it's very much directed to communication issue, okay, in, in fisheries. So it's going to help us to then uh, when we start creating uh, uh, our uh, sort of content uh, uh, in, in the project to be common that we want to communicate. <coughs> your your input is very very important. So at each of these meetings we get this feedback. And uh, uh, you know um, you're good in sort of analyzing the fish counts and all that, and we're good in analyzing you know these type of questionnaires statistically. Although I don't like statistics, but <laughs> we're good at that. So um, <coughs> it's really really helpful. There's a last uh, one. Why don't you like statistics? Please explain for me in common at least. <laughs> I, you know what? When, when, when I took statistics uh, at, at university as a as a graduate, I, I came in for statistics. I was very good in math at university. It was my best mark, I was almost 100 percent. And then statistics, somehow I just couldn't get get into it. it maybe it depended on the teacher. So I took it as a graduate, and I was too late. I was already too old. My brain for my. We're not okay. That's an explanation. Statistics is a discipline you use to document that two figures that are different are exactly the same. <laughs> no, but I. It's, it's very powerful, well, and you, you get you, you get you get very nice. You can get trends. You can get data that are uh, useful also in predictions. Uh, um, so I, I do believe in statistics, uh, even though now looking at these two meteorites, you know, coming at the same time to Earth, you know, one exploding and one passing by at the same moment, you know, the likelihood of that, you know, I don't know, <laughs> it uh, makes you wonder if there's God. Um, so um, i like, if you can fill it in, and um, you can do it after the coffee, and then as a wrap up after the coffee, I also will tell you what we'll then, what what are what are we going to be doing with this data, and uh, you know, over the next two years, what's going to happen? Okay, so have a break now. I'll put the questionnaires on your table. Then when you come back, fill it in, and then I'll just wrap up. Uh, you know, in five minutes, uh, what's coming up your way uh, in the future in terms of. <coughs> In terms of uh, our 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 uh, contribution to you from from the different meetings, not that you have to do the work. Okay, so have a break now if you like our coffee. <coughs> <Thank you. coughs>